Space is a new arena of U.S.-China confrontation days ago. NASA chief warned that Beijing may be using civilian space programs to conceal military objectives in the space. And now Chinese military has accused United States of militarizing space by building a sophisticated spy satellite network with Elon Musk's SpaceX. What if I told you the most significant space race of our time isn't between the U.S. and Russia, but between the U.S. and China? And it's happening right now quietly beneath the radar. Elon Musk, the visionary mind behind SpaceX, Tesla, and Starlink, recently dropped a bombshell about China's rapidly advancing space program, claiming China's space program is far more advanced than most people realize. But what does this really mean? What's at stake for the future of space exploration and for humanity itself? Let's dig deeper because the answers might just surprise you. Chapter 1. What is China really up to in space? Space. China's space program, led by the China National Space Administration CNSA, has made leaps that sound like science fiction. Their Chang'e lunar missions have transitioned from groundbreaking milestones like landing on the moon's far side in 2019 to Chang'e 06 in 2024, which brought back lunar samples from areas no one else had touched. These are not just symbolic wins. They provide China with exclusive access to rare isotopes and minerals that could redefine energy production on Earth. Now, here's a chilling thought. If China can mine the moon for rare resources, what's stopping them from monopolizing space's most valuable assets entirely? Beyond the moon, China's Mars ambitions have also taken center stage. After successfully landing their Tianwen-1 rover in 2021, China announced plans for a crewed Mars mission by 2033. The timeline is bold, and the implications even bolder. But exploration isn't China's only agenda. Chapter 2. Space, the next battleground. For decades, space was seen as a peaceful frontier. But recent moves suggest China is preparing to weaponize the cosmos. Take the White Emperor, a sixth-generation fighter jet capable of deploying weapons from orbit unveiled in 2024. Analysts speculate this system could enable rapid, precision strikes, rendering traditional defense systems obsolete. If true, it changes the rules of global conflict. And then there's satellite swarm technology, networks of small satellites capable of disabling or even destroying enemy systems in orbit. Imagine critical infrastructure, GPS, internet, global trade paralyzed during a geopolitical crisis. The implications? Staggering. The balance of power could shift overnight. Even Elon Musk hinted at this possibility, noting Starlink's potential as a decentralized defense network. While marketed as a tool for global internet access, its ability to maintain communication during conflict raises questions about its strategic intent. Chapter 3. The Lunar Economy. A new gold rush? China's lunar ambitions reach far beyond exploration. They are strategically targeting helium-3, a rare isotope found in the moon's regolith that could revolutionize energy production. Unlike traditional nuclear fusion, Helium-3 fusion promises clean, nearly limitless power with minimal radioactive waste. This isn't science fiction. It's a potential trillion-dollar industry that could redefine the global energy landscape and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. China's plan to establish a lunar base by 2030 in partnership with Russia is explicitly geared toward long-term habitation and resource extraction. Such a base would provide a significant advantage advantage in mining helium-3 and other extraterrestrial resources. But what happens if China secures control over a resource critical to humanity's energy future? Could this foster international cooperation to unlock its potential for the greater good? Or will it lead to economic coercion and geopolitical tension? Elon Musk has repeatedly warned against monopolizing lunar resources, advocating for a collaborative approach to ensure the moon's bounty benefits all of humanity. Yet history shows that competition for valuable resources often escalates into conflict. Will nations heed the call for unity or are we on the brink of a new Cold War, this time fought over lunar wealth? The decisions made in the coming decade will determine whether the moon becomes a beacon of shared progress or a new battleground for power and control. Chapter 4. Space-Based Solar Power 
the next energy revolution, China's ambitions extend beyond the Moon and Mars, reaching into the realm of revolutionary energy solutions. In 2024, they successfully tested components for a space-based solar power station, a concept that could redefine how humanity powers the planet. By harvesting solar energy directly in space, free from atmospheric interference or night cycles, and transmitting it to Earth via microwaves, this technology offers the potential for unlimited, clean, and reliable energy. If fully operationalized, it could transform global power grids and eradicate energy scarcity. However, the question of control looms large. A nation mastering this technology first could wield unprecedented influence over global energy markets, potentially reshaping economies and geopolitics. Could this capability foster collaboration with nations uniting to develop and share a limitless energy resource? Or will it ignite a new power struggle where energy becomes the ultimate tool of leverage and dominance? The race to harness space-based solar power will not only impact energy, but could redefine humanity's approach to resource sharing and technological progress. Chapter 5, The AI Factor in Space Exploration China's centralized approach to space development has enabled seamless integration of cutting-edge artificial intelligence, AI, giving it a competitive edge in the space race. The Tiangong Space Station, set to be fully operational by 2025, is designed to rely on AI for autonomous operations, predictive maintenance, and real-time data analysis, reducing human intervention and increasing mission efficiency. Similarly, China's Mars rover, Zhurong, showcases AI-driven autonomous navigation and decision-making, outperforming NASA's rovers in certain aspects by minimizing reliance on Earth-based commands. Elon Musk, while outspoken about the risks of unchecked AI, acknowledges its transformative potential in advancing space exploration. SpaceX's development of AI-powered systems for interplanetary missions is a testament to its growing importance. However, the question remains, can decentralized, privately-led systems like SpaceX's compete with China's highly coordinated, government-backed AI strategies? China's streamlined approach accelerates progress, but its centralization raises concerns about monopolizing advancements. The outcome of this rivalry could redefine the role of AI in shaping humanity's future in space. Will competition spur innovation, or will it create an imbalance that shifts the global space landscape? Chapter 6, The Satellite Wars, Starlink vs. Space Sail. Low Earth orbit has become a critical battleground in the new space race. Elon Musk's Starlink network, designed to provide free, democratized internet to underserved regions worldwide, now faces mounting competition from China's Space Sail, a state-backed satellite system set to launch by 2026. Unlike the private venture of Starlink, Space Sail operates under direct government control, raising concerns about its potential use for surveillance, propaganda, or even cyber warfare. If China overtakes Starlink in both reach and capability, the consequences could be profound. Will these satellite constellations create a globally connected, equitable internet infrastructure? Or will they deepen the digital divide, separating the world into spheres of influence defined by competing networks? Such a development could dictate not only global communication, but also power dynamics in the digital age, where access to information is key. The race for dominance in LEO isn't just about technology, it's about shaping the future of global connectivity and control in the 21st century. Chapter 7, Humanity's Choice, Cooperation or Conflict. These advancements force a pivotal question. Are we heading toward collaboration in space or will humanity's divisions follow us into the stars? As space becomes more accessible, the potential for unity through shared exploration and innovation has never been greater. Elon Musk, envisions a cooperative future humanity united as a multi-planetary species, working together to overcome the challenges of survival beyond Earth. But the increasing competition for lunar resources, orbital dominance, and technological supremacy casts a shadow over this ideal. Rivalries over control of energy markets, 
satellite networks, and strategic space-based technologies risk transforming this frontier into yet another battleground. Decisions made today will shape whether space exploration becomes a symbol of global unity or a stark extension of Earth's conflicts. Will humanity learn from history, using the cosmos to foster cooperation and shared progress? Or will we let old rivalries define a new, even grander stage for division? The answers to these questions will decide the course of our future as a spacefaring civilization. Chapter 8, The Road Ahead. China is advancing at a remarkable pace, with plans for a lunar research base by 2030 and Mars colonization by 2040, supported by its growing fleet of robotic explorers and AI-driven space infrastructure. Meanwhile, Musk's Starship program envisions human settlements on Mars, while NASA's Artemis missions aim to establish a sustained presence on the moon. These efforts aren't just about technical milestones, they're about defining the ethos of humanity's future in space. Will nations embrace collaboration to share knowledge, resources, and the promise of exploration? Or will space become a mirror of earthly conflicts, a new arena for resource competition and strategic dominance? The stakes couldn't be higher, as the decisions we make in the coming decades will determine whether humanity's destiny among the stars is one of unity or division. The question is, can we rise above our differences and truly make space a frontier for all of humanity? So, what do you think? Is Elon Musk right to sound the alarm about China's space ambitions? Or are these developments a necessary part of humanity's evolution? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more deep dives into the future of space exploration. The space race is on, and the stakes have never been higher. The only question is, are we ready?